On August 29th, 2021, a high school football scandal took the internet by storm. Bishop Sycamore. In front of a national audience on ESPN, a scam was uncovered by social media almost in real time. Bishop Sycamore, the high school, never existed. How do you make a fake high school? How the f did they get on ESPN? Did anyone get punished for this fraud? And most importantly, what happened to the poor kids on the team that had their dreams crushed? I'm Riley Winnin. I'm here to tell you just what happened to one of the weirdest sports scandals of the last decade, Bishop Sycamore. HBO actually just came out with the documentary BS High about the same story. But just in case you don't have the time for an hour long doc, here's everything you need to know about this scandal in less than five minutes. We're coming up on the anniversary of when ESPN aired a high school game between what everyone thought were football powerhouses, the IMG Academy, which many people are aware of, and Bishop Sycamore. Well, the final score was 58 to zero in the favor of IMG. It was very apparent that Bishop Sycamore had lied about the talent they had on their roster. The announcers calling the game were even nervous about player health and talked about ending it early. This lopsided victory had everyone asking questions about this Bishop Sycamore school. And almost overnight, the scandal had been uncovered by the power of the internet. But this Fugazi school started long before they had fooled ESPN into giving them national screen time. The Christians of Faith Online Charter School was founded in 2018 by Bishop Sycamore head coach, Roy Johnson. But shortly after it was established, state officials revoked their license because they couldn't tell if the school was actually offering classes and Johnson was even investigated for fraud. This is just the beginning. Over the next two years, Johnson would go on to recruit desperate kids and guys who were actually out of high school that were looking for a chance at their dreams of playing college football. He pulled them from all over the country to play for this football powerhouse. Now I say powerhouse in quotes because they really only had one legitimate three-star recruit, and this team just straight up stunk. They were getting blown out by teams bad. The school had to be rebranded multiple times because of issues with state authorities. Ultimately, it became what we now know as Bishop Sycamore. It was brutal for these kids. There was no physical school. The team couldn't keep coaches because it couldn't pay them. And the kids weren't even given dorms like they were promised. Instead, they were getting kicked out of hotels or sleeping on air mattresses in empty apartments. They were provided little to no food and they had no training staff, so guys were getting injured left and right. They actually did provide online classes to these kids, but the coaches didn't check to make sure if they were actually signing up for them or even doing their homework. The coach and school lied to these players about pretty much all of it. This had been going on for a while before everything was exposed after the IMG game. After all the jokes on social media had settled, Roy Johnson and Bishop Sycamore did have to face the music. The Ohio Department of Education Board investigated the school and deemed it to be a scam. No door. The governor of Ohio even asked the attorney general to investigate to see if any laws had been broken in the process. Roy Johnson was fired shortly after the IMG game. It came out that he had an active arrest warrant, he was being investigated for fraud on multiple accounts, he was being sued in civil court by the hotels he put the players in, a helmet manufacturer, and many others who were coming after him for unpaid debts. This dude was a seasoned scam artist, and unfortunately, a bunch of kids got swept up in it. I think what gets most forgotten in this whole thing is the kids who were taken advantage of and sold on something that really never existed. Some of them were able to bounce back and continue their pursuit for the next level. Some of them quit football altogether, and one player even ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Hopefully the Bishop Sycamore scandal opened up people's eyes to the seedy business side of high school sports, so that hopefully nothing like this ever happens again. What are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now? Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know. If you want to see who we cover on our next episode of What Happened To, subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications. I'm Riley Wynn. See you on the next one.